What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Bearded Dwight, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be discussing the best NVIDIA settings for your control panel if you're playing Warzone. Let's dive right in. Before we dive into NVIDIA's best control panel settings, let's take a look at our sponsor, Dubby. They're an energy drink company, and they really help out gamers. They, they partner with a ton of gamers across the world, and it's awesome. Not only do they taste amazing, they also work. Before every stream, I make sure to have some so that I can get through the stream. I have a ton of energy, and there's no crash, which is amazing. So give them a shot. For 10% off, use promo code BEATS. That's B-E-E-T-S, like the vegetable, BEATS. And give them a shot, man. They're really good. And it's nice to support a company that supports gamers. Hey, welcome back. So the way that you're going to check your NVIDIA control panel settings is first things first, you're going to right click on your desktop, then go to NVIDIA control panel. Once that pulls up, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to adjust image settings with preview. Now here you'll have a couple different options. What you wanna do is use the advanced 3D image settings because you're going to be making these changes to make sure that it's exactly how you want it. These are gonna be presets that you can set up. So next we're gonna to go to manage 3D settings. Now the best way to do this is I'm just gonna slowly scroll through here so that you can just copy what I currently have. So I'm just gonna scroll through currently, nice and slow so that you guys can just literally copy what I have. All right. Now, some of the reason that you would have these the way that they are like low latency mode, I have this set to ultra. Some of these are gonna be different depending on what your PC is. Um, I've tried all kinds of different settings on here, but these are by far the best that I've had luck with. Um, high performance, that's really important. So. Anytime you're doing any kind of competitive gaming like Warzone or Fortnite or anything like that, you want to make sure that you have performance over quality because performance is going to lead you to more FPS, but it's also still going to, if you have a good PC, you're still going to get really good quality out of your gameplay and you're not going to have to sacrifice the performance. So if you're looking for high FPS, then you want to use these settings. Another thing you want to double check is you want to go to change resolution, double check that this refresh rate is set to whatever the maximum um, refresh rate is for your monitor. So sometimes this will default lower than what your monitor is. So just make sure that this is what you're, that you have this selected to what you want it to be, which is the highest that your monitor can um, possibly output. Usually it'll automatically select native for your resolution. That's all you need to do on this tab. Um, adjust color, uh, desktop color settings. I have the uh, the contrast up to 80%. And the reason that I do that is because the, especially with Caldera, they've changed the color settings on there so much that it's a lot darker than it used to be. So I've increased the contrast just to give it a little bit more vibrance. And it seems to, uh, to help me with that. So here's the, the settings on that. And then digital vibrance, I've also increased that up. That just gives you a little bit of light. Let's see if it'll preview it. No, it won't. So I'm gonna leave it at 75. And then set up G-Sync. All right, I have G-Sync enabled. I tried disabling it and I didn't really notice too big of a difference. I actually think I might have lost some frames. Um, so I would leave G-Sync set up if you have that on your monitor. Um, adjust video color settings. This is also one of those kind of personal preference things. I'm just gonna go through it so you guys have what I'm using. I use the NVIDIA settings and then advanced, I use the limited 16 through 235. And that is pretty much it when it comes to your NVIDIA desktop settings. Now I'm gonna dive into the Warzone settings that I currently have as well, just you know, so you have that information. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into that. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. Again, I'm just gonna kind of run you through what I'm using. Um, doesn't mean it's the best, but it's what's worked for me. So first things first, I'm on full screen borderless because I'm typically streaming, so it's just easier to interact between screens. However, you will probably see the best FPS settings if you go to full screen um, or just full screen. That's probably what you're gonna see the best frames at. Obviously make sure that your actual graphics card is selected. I've got the 3080 Ti. Now, as far as render resolution, I'm running at 1440. I think that the game looks so much better at 1440. So even though I might get maybe 15 to 20 more FPS, I personally like the balance of making sure I get a little bit more quality and it's not sacrificing a ton of performance. Dynamic resolution, you wanna disable that. Um, don't worry about this because it's disabled. Aspect ratio, just leave it at automatic. 
um, V-Sync disabled. Um, this is kind of one of the weird ones. Some people will go here and they'll set like a, a maximum um, frame rate limit that you could have, um, especially like being in your um, like warm up screen. I honestly haven't noticed a difference either way, so I just leave that as is, um, which is uh, just unlimited. Uh, brightness, this is just, you know, personal preference. Um, display gamma, that should just automatically uh, be at the 2.2 SR uh, GB. NVIDIA highlights, definitely make sure this is disabled because what it's going to do is it's going to clip like every single like double kill you get, like, and it's just going to use a ton of um, a ton of RAM and it's just not good. So I would not be using that at all. Uh, low latency, this is one of those ones that's also, you kind of go back and forth with. There's been times where I've gotten better FPS with it disabled and then better with it enabled, better with it um, at enabled plus boost. Right now, I've noticed the best, uh, the best enhancement as far as performance goes with enabled plus boost. Now let's go over to quality. Sorry about that, discard. All right, so field of view, this is also per personal preference. I believe you'll get better FPS the lower this is. Um, I want the maximum amount of field of view that I can get. Just, I believe it's a huge advantage. Streaming quality, low. Texture resolution, very low. Uh, anastropic, normal. Particle quality, high. Believe it or not, you want this on high. It gives you more FPS. Bullet sprays and impacts. You really should have this disabled. Um, it'll it'll give you a little bit of a performance boost, but I like to see it because it's a, just a uh, when you're in the middle of a gunfight, it's nice to see where the bolts are coming from. It's helpful. Tessellation, definitely disabled. Um, gore effects disabled. On-demand on, man, on texture dis, uh, streaming, definitely keep this disabled. Because what it's going to do is it's actually going to cause you a ton of input lag. And that you definitely don't want any lag, obviously. Um, filmic strength, you know, I've had this at zero. I've had it at one. Right now at one, it seems to be giving me the best performance. Um, NVIDIA DLSS, this you can kind of mess with. I keep it disabled for now. I've noticed that it's giving me the best quality. Sometimes there's a bit of input lag or some maybe screen tearing. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but it hasn't really been working that well for me. It's just one of those, those settings that you can kind of just mess with and you could see if it's uh, going to make a big difference or not. World motion blur, definitely off. Weapon motion blur, definitely off. Shadow map resolution, high. Cache spot shadows uh, and sun shadows both enabled. Particle lighting, low. Direct X ray tracing, definitely disabled. Ambient occlusion, disabled. And SSR, disabled as well. So those are the settings that I'm running. Some of this is going to be one of those things you want to mess around with. Uh, change a couple here and there and, and see. Go into a game, you know, somewhere that you know is not going to be too sweaty. And just get an idea of what your frames look like as you're messing with the settings. Um, that's really the best way to do it. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, if it was helpful, please do me a favor. Hit me with a like. I'm brand new to YouTube. Uh, also subscribe. And I also stream every night on Facebook, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And also Saturday mornings. I'm on from 8.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time through the afternoon to about 1.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So if you want to come in, say what's up. I'm also on uh, Twitch as well. My primary is Facebook, but I stream on all the platforms all together. So if you just search at Bearded Dwight, you're going to find me. So find me on Twitch, find me on Facebook, um, and hit me with a follow. And come check us out, man. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them on stream. And I look forward to catching you guys in the next one.